Hello managers, I'm going to walk you through approving time off requests for your employees as well as show you how to view your team. As managers, you will have a My Team tab in the menu. This is where you can view your team by clicking on My Employees. A search area will appear and you will notice that it is blank. By clicking the search button, circled here in red, it will pull up everyone who reports to you. To see more information about a specific employee, simply click on their name. Back in the menu in the My Team tab under Benefits, click Time Off. Just like when going to the Time Off in the Myself tab, a new tab will open and it will show you your personal dashboard. To get to your team, open up the menu. The picture here is what your menu should look like. There are two ways to get to a Time Off request, so I'll go over both of them. Starting by clicking on My Team, it will bring you to a list of your employees. Clicking on their name will bring you to their profile, and it will look similar to your personal dashboard. Once in their profile, you can view their balance, make a request on their behalf, and see any pending time off requests that they have. Clicking on the date will bring you to another page, and I will go over that shortly, but first I'll go over the other way to get to the time off request. In the menu, by clicking on Team Time Off, it will bring you to a page that will show you any time off that your team has planned, as well as pending time off requests. Clicking on the date will bring up the request. Whichever way you get to the time off request, the same page will show up. You can view all the details of the request before deciding whether to approve it or not. If you would like to approve, just click on the green button at the bottom. Back in the menu towards the top is the employer team calendar. This will show you the same information as team time off, but in a calendar format, if you prefer. Also in the menu is coverage. This is where you can dictate how many employees on your team can take off. I'll start by going over the add coverage button. This is where you can make sure you have the coverage on specific days as needed. You can pick the dates, pick a specific job that needs to be covered, and determine whether there needs to be at least 50% employees present, no more than two employees off, or any other mixes like those examples. Once you're done setting all the guidelines, just click save. Back in the coverage page, if you click on add blackout, this is where you will be able to set a date where none of your employees can request time off. For this, you just need to set a specific date or a range of dates and then click Save. That is all we have for now, but we will be rolling out more as we get further into the year. Talent management will be one where you'll be able to give goals to your team or a specific employee and track the goals in the system. And we'll also be moving out performance reviews, so keep an eye out for another tutorial walking you through that. Thank you.